Perfect. And I think you were talking about your college experience, driving up there with your friend. Yeah. So, um, yeah, the reason why I share that, because uh, you'd ask the question, how do you get, you know, there from, how do you get there from here or you can get there from here? Mm-hmm. Um so that was significant because uh, uh, I did get into 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 school uh, and um, excelled at Saginaw Valley State and and uh, uh, became president of the uh, student government and um, uh, became an all American in track and, and and just a number of the campus leader and a number of different things. Um, so that was a transformational experience for me. Um, and 20 years later, I think, I, I think it was 20 years later, maybe even 25, but I end up receiving the, um, uh, distinguished alumni award from the university, yeah. uh, asked to deliver the, uh, commencement. Uh, and then received a uh, an honorary uh, PhD uh, uh, from the same university that initially told me I wasn't college material and that I wasn't good enough to be a student there. And so, um, so I tell you that because that then gave me the confidence from where I started that I could do anything. Um, and so I just, I just kind of, uh, uh, my first focus was I thought I wanted to be a university administrator. Um, and so, uh, my first job out of college was working at Central Michigan University. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, uh, did various jobs there in admissions and minority affairs. Uh, but what was attractive about that is my, first experience in counseling, coaching, advising. And at, at that time, it was college students mm-hmm. around, you know, writing resumes, preparing for interviews, um, uh, helping them to, to kind of get focused. All right, so you majored in this. Now, what are you doing to find a job in this space? Mm-hmm. Uh, and, uh, and I left there and went to Michigan State and uh, worked in a variety of student activity roles uh, and uh, found my home in career services. And Michigan State was the largest career office, centralized career office in the country. And at any given day, there was 20 to 30 companies on campus uh, interviewing students. And so I was the inner inner, uh, section between the students and the companies. Okay. So several of those companies were trying to recruit me to be a recruiter at their company. Um, and, you know, I loved what I was doing. Michigan State turned down probably about four or five of those opportunities, but finally did accept one. And uh, I took a job uh, as a manager of university relations for United Airlines. Wow. So that's, that's what moved me to Chicago. Uh, and I was coordinating all their college recruiting across the country. Mm-hmm. Then uh, Motorola recruited me from uh, from there to do the same thing, but on a larger scale. Uh, I ended up um, uh, working at Motorola for five years, but a year of that was I volunteered for international assignments. So I spent a year in Malaysia. Uh, in Penang and Sarabon and Kuala Lumpur. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that really just gave me a whole different perspective. I came back and decided that I wanted to go into professional services. So I took a job with Deloitte. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, again, uh, if, if you notice the things, all different companies, but all different uh, in different industry sectors but always staying in the same lane of advising, coaching, consulting. Mm -hmm. Uh, So so left um, Motorola, uh, went to Deloitte, uh, was at Deloitte for about four years, and then I went to uh, uh, 
uh, no, it was at uh, monster.com. I left Motorola to go to Monster in mm -hmm. Deloitte. Um, and uh, I was doing that thing. And then I had a chance of a lifetime to run a business, with that, run a division within a business. Uh, now it's a Hudson Highland Group. Um, and then from there, one of my clients then recruited me uh, from the Hudson Highland Group to move mm -hmm. to New York and become executive vice president at MTV, uh, MTV okay. Networks in New York. So I did that and was there for three years uh, and then left it, uh, came back to Chicago. Uh, and for the last 13 years, uh, I've been a, a partner at Hydro Controls. Right. Um, uh, so, so the theme there has been um, nine different uh, organizations um, that I've worked at you know, over my career. Uh, very different from education and transportation to wireless communication to professional services to media entertainment uh, internet um, you know uh, everything uh, uh, yeah you know but but all in the same lane yeah. so um, uh, uh, I got here from there because I was willing to take risk. I was willing to challenge myself. Mm -hmm. um, I felt like uh, there was always something to learn. Um, and, uh, and, and so uh, I intentionally chose uh, um, Hydric and Struggles um, because, uh, well, executive search, because this was the only thing in, in the talent space that I hadn't done. I'd hired search firms as a leader of talent acquisition, but I'd never sat on their side of the table. So I wanted to be able to check that off. Yeah. Um, so there's very few people that have had the, the types of talent uh, recruiting uh, experiences that, that, that I've had. Um, and so uh, uh, I knew it was going to be a challenge because I had zero experience in executive search. And I think most people uh, predicted, ah, you know, he might make it two years. Um, but I, I'm proud to say I'm, I'm completing my 13th year. Oh, uh, year. I, yeah, I've established myself as a, a, a global thought leader, um, carved out a lot of uh, new initiatives for our firm. I lead about seven different client relationships globally for the firm. Um, and uh, it was very intentional because uh, I am very intentional and deliberate around everything that I do. Mm -hmm. um, and I wanted the lifestyle of a consultant so I could, you know, kind of set my own schedule, work at my own pace. Um, and, and I've been doing that uh, for, for the last 13 years uh, here at Hydrate. And I'll sum it up by saying that part of whether it's the book, whether it's my career, whether it's what I do. Um, I don't consider myself a search person. I consider myself a connector where Hydric and Struggles has given me a platform to help connect people right. uh, and organizations with talent. Right. Uh, and, and, and that's what I do. That's perfect. So in a nutshell, my one last follow-up question, this is your entire journey from how you got to there to hill. So using all those experiences, how do you apply that to now connect people to get from here to the other there? How, yeah. like in a nutshell, how does that benefit or like how does that mold your perspective for what you're doing now? So... Uh... The, the firm that I'm at is one of the largest in the world and, and um, you know, we're a very strong brand mm -hmm. uh, in the space of uh, helping companies find leadership talent, okay? So we work on behalf of our, our clients, which are the companies. So because we are really connected to opportunities, um uh, everybody wants to talk to us everybody mm -hmm. wants to get on a schedule everybody wants to be on the radar so so i have you know anywhere from five to ten people every day from around the country wanting to get 
30 minutes or wanting to get my insights around this or um, I do a lot of uh, public speaking I actually even have a presentation called you can get there from here mm. um, I talk about uh, uh, making your network and then I also do a presentation called what's your personal brand mm. um, but um, uh, and I just basically help people to understand uh, uh, brand at consumer brand attributes mm -hmm. and we talk a lot about that and then I just move it to okay so now that we're comfortable with uh, understanding what a consumer brand looks like let's talk about a personal brand what does that look like mm -hmm. and I give them some examples and tell them how you shape that personal brand um, and so between you know the speaking, the organizations that I'm involved in, the boards, not-for-profit boards that I'm on, uh, uh, just comp uh, uh, executives wanting to reach out to me and get on my calendar, um, I have, my my schedule is very full with outreach because yeah. to be effective at what I do, companies pay us a lot of money. Um, to help define leadership talent. Right. So, so you, you don't just go onto a website to find that. You have to cultivate those relationships. I got to yeah. know you. I, you know, yeah. I, I may have met you two years ago and we stayed in touch. And then I, now I finally have an opportunity. I can call you around and you. say, hey, what are you thinking about? Or you might be saying, hey, you know, I'm, I'm ready to look at what my next opportunity is. Bill, I love to talk to you, see what, what the market is saying and how does my background experience play into the market? Yeah. So, um, uh, so Hydrogen Struggles as a uh, partner has given me a platform to connect with people all around the world and, and in just about every industry uh, and to do what I started doing in my uh, uh, first job, advising, coaching, consulting with, with people around careers. Yeah, came full circle, right? Yeah. Okay, perfect. I think that gives us everything we need. I'm gonna go ahead.